Hello guys, welcome to my channel Tech Bulletin Prime. I am Rajni Kant, and today's video we're gonna discuss Java Watcher service, right? So if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications. So let's begin. So recently, one of my colleague got a requirement uh, that it's a e-commerce project, and it will generate some invoices and those invoices will be populated to one folder so as soon as that file got populated into that folder it should export it to some mongodb right it should export those metadata of that file to the mongodb right so we have searched and analyzed and come up with a solution that's java watcher service right so what exactly it will do it will watch to a particular directory right the watcher service will watch to a particular directory if anything got changed to the directory right so if some file got created file got deleted or file got updated then we will get some event right so this is the whole idea of that watcher service and already uh, java neo has that implementation and we will gonna see with details so let's begin so let me uh, show you that java documentation what we will gonna do right to achieve uh, that thing so first we need to create you can see here a watcher service overview so here is the basic steps required to implement the watch service so how can we implement right so create a watch service watcher for the file system right so whatever the file system is there from that file system to watch that one we need to create a watcher service right then next step what is that one for each directory that you want to monitor register it with a watcher right so suppose uh, you want to monitor for a particular directory so you need to register that particular directory with that watcher service right so next or uh, next step what is that one implement an infinite loop to wait for incoming events right when an event occurs the key is assigned and placed into the watcher queue right so to watch that particular directory we need to go for a infinite loop right so whenever some event will occur it will will get that event so we'll go for an infinite loop so we'll use that while loop there then uh, next step retrieve each pending events for a key right so we'll retrieve those pending events whatever that event got generated generated whether file got created file got deleted or file got updated right so those events we will get and from that event will uh, from that event we will take that event and we will work on that event what is that event and we will show that and we will see the details so after everything done reset the key and resume waiting for that events right then uh, then at the end you can close the service so let's quickly start that programming and see how we can code it those uh, these steps right so let me open my sts this is simple main method with java class with main method will create so already you can see i have created a project with a, a normal uh, java project so if you want like this file new and project and here java project you can select so this is a poc purpose if you want a real implementation you can uh, use this code so already i have created this one let me create a package here so package let me take com dot watcher dot demo right I'll, let me okay it's got created then let's create a create a class file watcher service watcher service yep okay it will create a main method as well okay it's got created let me increase that font i think quickly write the code so first what we'll do we'll create a object of watch service right so w a t c h s e r v i c e these are this class is from new package so here some builder design pattern is there by which we will create the object control shift o will do watch service equal to 
फाइल सिस्टम फाइल सिस्टम्स सॉरी हियर गेट डिफॉल्ट डॉट न्यू द न्यू मैथ सर्विस राइट सो इट्स ए बिल्ड अ डिजाइन पैटर्न काइंड ऑफ थिंग एंड हियर विल गेट द ऑब्जेक्ट राइट so why it's crying let me see okay we'll throw that exception okay we have already thrown then next what we will do we'll get the path of that directory right which directory we want to watch so path path equal to paths dot get and here we need to pass that our file our directory path control shift o it's it will import its new file path so here is that my folder this folder path will provide there so let me paste it here yeah already have pasted so next next what we will do we will register different kind of events for this directory right so what are the events we want to get sorry control z path path dot register so you can see here that here we can pass this service object so it will register right and here we need to pass different kind of events right create delete and modify right so if one enum is there s t a n d ARD standard watch event kind the standard watch event kinds dot create and what are the events you want to register create then we will take delete then we'll register uh suppose modify we'll copy this thing we'll paste it here dot then modify right then semicolon control shift or required no not required control shift it's okay so it's then we have registered then what we'll do we'll put this one into the for loop and we'll take the event right so here we'll get that key what's key it's a kind of event key control shift o new package it will be imported then while sorry inside that one key equal to this watch service object and we'll call one method name take right so it will take those events whenever it's received right until until that one it will in wait state right here we'll put not sorry is there any extra parenthesis yes it seems no it's not not equal to null then here we'll go why it's crying let me see okay we'll throw this declaration okay so so what exactly this statement so what service dot take means it will take the key right until unless one event will not come it will wait right it is under wait state right so here we'll take one for loop and in that for loop we'll take that watch event this is a wildcard generic my bad is a wildcard generic 
this is a for each loop we'll put e v e and t and from this key we'll get those events dot events pull events right again control shift o okay it's imported those classes from that new package then here that event we got right so from that event we'll gather those information what kind of information so what is that event and what file got affected we'll see right so here i am putting system dot out dot win this is our favorite uh, statement right so whenever we are doing some initial program means system dot system dot out dot println system dot out dot println right yeah this is my favorite favorite statement so let's talk event kind or event type so what kind of event this is right class event dot here what is that one kind event kind will get right then let's concatenate and we'll see what is the file got affected right file affected a f f e c t e d then again we'll concatenate and from that event we'll get that uh, information so what is that one that method context right so uh, let me put that semicolon here yeah so already i have done the entire code so one statement is missing we'll reset that key after everything done key dot reset right so here semicolon again and yeah everything is done so let me run this uh, program okay we'll go to here okay watch our service it's here already two files are there right so let's create one file new file right so you can see here the entry type is uh, entry type was created and file affected that new text document 3 t.txt this is got created right so let me delete one file here so let's delete it so you can see event type entry delete and file affected new text document txt right so this is a uh, i mean we are getting those events we are printing so if you want to do some uh, real implementation you can do it here uh, some real implementation example uh, in an, in a folder uh, some random files are populating and from there you need to identify what kind of files are those and based on that file type you want to store in different folders right so you are getting uh, pdf document this kind of uh, files and you want to store the store them into separate separate folders so this is kind of thing and if you want to to do some bot kind of thing right so for the for your laptop you are you are uh, creating one security system right so if you if anyone is changing your files you want to track that one right so you can do a puc also this kind of things right so i hope this video will be helpful to you people if this video is helpful please do like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel Thank you.